say a, a special thanks to our uh, new police chief and our fire chief for being here. Thank you. And to all of the departments, the growing number of departments under the city administrator's office, uh, I want to say to all of you and to staff, uh, thank you for being loyal to our city administrator. Thank you for working hard. Thank you for all your years of service, because I know uh, and in my talks with uh, City Administrator Kelly and I, we know that these are not jobs we can do on our own. They really depend upon great public servants. And I'll say this, when I was City Administrator, and I believe Naomi believes this today, we have the best departments in all of the world. So thank you for being here. I want to thank a great partner of ours, Charlotte Schultz, the, our Chief <laughs> Officer of Protocol. Thank you for being here as well. Our school district is here. I know my school advisor is here, and uh, she's excited because this now is a city of the free city college. Thank you. Thank you to all of you for doing that. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I know that you know this is a, a very special time in our city's history. It's a time when we're rediscovering what diversity means. We're reinvesting the things that we truly believe in because we are all, as a city, challenged to do better and to do more. And certainly from the vantage point that I have as your mayor, I need other great leaders to step forward. And I know that I have that in Naomi Kelly. She has not only been a great city administrator, but all this time she was having her kids. So she's been again a great mom. Yes. She led the effort, and one of the really people that I depended upon along with Charlotte and others to put on one of the best women conferences that we've ever had just recently, putting a lot of people on the agenda. And then I know that she's been at my side and working with the Board of Supervisors, all the other elected officials to keep our infrastructure going, keep our city departments working, but most importantly to keep the spirit of the city positive. So uh, at this point, let me just say it's a pleasure to work with you, Naomi. Uh, it's a pleasure to work with a mom, uh, which I think is historic for our city administrator. And it's a pleasure that you put up with Harlan Kelly all this time. Uh, so are we ready for the next five years? All right. Come on up here, Naomi. Please say your name after me. I, Naomi Kelly, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California that I take this obligation freely that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion or purpose of evasion and that I will well and faithfully discharge and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which I'm about to enter the duties upon which I'm about to enter during such time as I as I hold the office of during such time that I hold the office of City Administrator for the City and County of San Francisco. City Administrator for the City and County of San Francisco. Congratulations.
Thank you. I can't tell you how grateful I am to you, Mayor Lee, for my reappointment as city administrator for a second term. And thank you to the Honorable Board of Supervisors, each and every one of you, for your unanimous support and the years of working with you. I really want to thank all of you, because I wouldn't be here today without your appointment and your confirmation, so thank you. To all of you here, and all San Franciscans who love this city as much as I do, please know that I serve in this capacity with humility. Five years ago, at my swearing in, I stated that I felt the gravity and urgency of my responsibilities and did not regard them perfunctorily. And that remains true today. This is a job that I take seriously because San Francisco is my home where I live with my husband, Harlan, my two sons, Trey and Mason, and my parents, William and Maria. I experience firsthand the decisions that we make here at City Hall. In 2004, then Mayor Newsom appointed me as city purchaser. And one of the first phone calls I made was to, to then DPW Director Ed Lee, who was also the former city purchaser. He graciously spent time with me explaining the power of the city purchaser and his or her ability to affect social change, whether it's for providing opportunities to minority and women-owned businesses, ensuring equal benefits to domestic partners, paying prevailing wages, purchasing environmentally preferred products, and emergency preparedness and resilience. These conversations led to the foundation and values of the city administrator's office under Ed Lee and what I proudly continue until this day. With the new administration in Washington, D.C., our challenges for the next four years are mostly unknown. With fears of ICE raids and religious registries, I look forward to working with the Office of Civic Engagement and Immigrant Affairs with its Pathways to Citizenship program and working with local immigration lawyers and activists to train our residents on how to respond to ICE raids. There are questions whether federal infrastructure dollars will come to our sanctuary city, which is already evidenced by the GOP's attempt to defund Caltrain's electrification. As chair of the city's 10-year capital plan, I know how important federal dollars are to our MTA and to our seawall. This is why capital planning supported a $500 million transportation bond and will support a $350 million seawall bond in the future. As the Trump administration talks about rolling back the Affordable Care Act, I'm honored to be working with the Office of Labor Standards and Enforcement to implement implement health care accountability ordinance and the health care security ordinance, which may serve as a backstop. As women's reproductive rights are threatened, I am proud that the Mayor Lee asked me to organize the Bay Area Women's Summit, where we will continue to address affordable child care, promoting women in leadership and positions, and reaffirm our commitment to justice, inclusion, and equality for all. I am grateful to my team. Among them, 25 different department heads in, in, of city agencies, and I'm, I have the honor and pleasure of overseeing and working every day with you. Many of you are here today and too numerous to mention, but you know that I am proud of what we have achieved in the past five years and the great work that we will achieve together with our eyes on the future. I see so many of my friends and colleagues here today. I am so touched that you are here with me. I would like to give a special thank you, and unfortunately he's not here, but he is someone who's truly been a mentor to me. He's in Sacramento, and that is to Mayor Willie Brown. 20, he hired me 20 years ago when I was at the age of 22. And during that time, he encouraged me to go to law school. Well, more of the truth is, he would not promote me unless I went to law school. <laughs> but he has truly been in my corner, as well as former Mayor Newsom. I'd also like to thank Martha Cohen who put on this event today and this big celebration. You've been a dear friend when I met you 20 years ago. And in closing, because I know I want to party with all of you, celebrations like this, I always take time to invoke my family because they are my anchor. I have here today my 96-year-old great aunt, Ida, and my cousin, Denise.
they have been in my corner since the moment I was born. And I, thank you, I want to thank my father, William, who's here, my mother, Maria, my husband, Harlan, and especially my two sons, Trey and Mason. I know. <laughs> I know my boys are proud of the work I do as city administrator. Um, I hear them talking about it. I overhear them talking about it, and in the work that I do, because it's many long hours and um, it takes time away from them. I, I struggle with that at times, but just to listen to them talk about my accomplishments and what I do as a, a leader for the city and working with the mayor and the board of supervisors makes me know it's all worth it. And I know there's many a times where they'd rather me stay home and bake cookies with them. But my family, my, the faith my family has in me, the faith that all of you have in me, and my love for this city is what keeps me going and collectively, our voices will be heard. San Francisco's politics and our principles and our culture will remain unscathed. And thank you very much. Now let's party.